Silent Witness this evening was back on BBC One, and it saw the team having to track down a new murderer. The team of forensic pathologists were in a rather bad spot after a mistake was made during the investigation. Thomas Chamberlain, played by Richard Lindern, was being made the scapegoat, yet the Lyell unit carries on regardless. They're trying to gather crucial evidence which the team's hoping will find the killer. Their investigation leads them to an empty warehouse. However, fans were somewhat distracted by this location. It turns out that the location had been used on another BBC One crime show, Luther, just the other week. A number of these viewers took to social media to comment on the gaffe. One fan wrote, Is the warehouse they are searching in? Anyone else think so? Silent Witness Blunder, fans distracted by Luther gaffe, image, BBC, Silent Witness Blunder, fans distracted by Luther location gaffe, image, BBC, a fourth fan wrote, honorant they at the same warehouse as Luther, is the Silent Witness factory that they have just gone to the same place as the Luther factory, asked another. One more viewer spotted the gaffe and commented, Luther and Silent Witness using the same industrial unit in their storylines only a week apart, this comes after another blunder was spotted on last night's program. At the end of yesterday's episode, it seemed as though the suspect had been caught, but fans noticed a huge continuity error. Silent Witness Blunder, Luther Location used in tonight's episode, Image, BBC, Silent Witness Blunder, the Lyell unit are back on the case, Image, BBC, the police arrived to arrest the suspect, Nick Marlowe, Andrew Knott, and immediately handcuffed him as he arrived back at his home. One viewer tweeted, 38 to 40 in tonight's. Another continuity error from a BBC One error for Automelia Fox to mention, still love the show, another shared, oops continuity error, arrest made, handcuffs put on with hands behind back and Marlowe in back of the car, he then is seen to raise his hand to his face. Still, love.